What's going on everybody? It's the RC Genius. Today I am doing another uh, Will It Work video. I actually am doing a video of the same product I did last time, uh, which is basically how well does Bondic work. This is called Bondic. It is a plastic welder. Uh, it's got an ultraviolet light over here on this side that you just turn on and then you use the glue that when the light hits the glue it turns uh, solid almost immediately. Now, if you want to see that video, you can click on it in the top corner. However, it doesn't really work for me. I tried gluing a airplane propeller, and it did not stay very well. Uh, granted, it's an airplane propeller. It's going to take a lot of stress. Um, so even if it did work really well, I don't know if it would be able to handle the stress of a propeller spinning so fast. But today, I have got a caster block that I broke last weekend. And this caster block, I, I broke it off of uh, my gravedigger truck, actually. That's where it came from. And uh, I hit a corner on my track. And I didn't film fixing it, but the truck is fixed now, but I have a broken caster block that can be tested with Bondic. So I figured why not try again. I figured out the proper way to use it. If you watch my other video where I tested this, uh, basically what I did was I used this as super glue and not as a welder welding on the outside of the crack, um, whereas I basically put it in between and kind of made it, uh, um, basically using it like I would super glue, but it's not meant for that. So, let's try it. I'm going to take the piece here, and I'm just going to put some glue on here. Also, something else while I'm doing this, I want to say you guys saw a new intro today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. I kind of like it. Um, so if you guys could let me know what you think about it, uh, leave me a comment, and also, if you do like it, just let me know by leaving a like, because I really appreciate all your guys' support on my videos, and, uh, I wanted to make a new intro for you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just going to let it harden just a little bit so that way it's going to be a little bit easier to work with, um, I don't have a stand here that I can put it on. So basically just using the light on top of the glue. Now you don't want to get this glue on your fingers and then put uh, the light on it because it will actually heat up. Um, the glue actually heats up and uh, can burn your finger. Not badly, but it feels, it hurts. I've tried it it actually does hurt so I'd recommend don't do that okay a little bit more what you're supposed to do with this stuff is kinda make like a patch on top of it and get the camera to focus Ooh. kinda just getting the it to be like a patch um, so even if you have to do like some cross stitching on it so that way it holds it together really well that's what you might have to do And it's definitely getting hard. Let me put some on the back here. Also, you don't want to get the ultraviolet light on your glue, um, your glue bottle because it will seal the glue. So I would recommend also don't shine it on your glue. Which I kind of just did. Okay. Put some on the back here. Now, if this works, then I can have a new, um, then I should be able to reuse this, uh, caster block. I'd rather have too much on there than not enough, because if I don't have enough, then I'm going to have to do this again, or just replace the part. So, also guys, if you can't fix your caster blocks by gluing them back or something, uh, I would recommend, if you have to buy new caster blocks, I always recommend RPM. RPM has great products. Either get RPM or get aluminum um, uh, parts because aluminum will not break. RPM, they are they stand behind their products very well. And uh, 
if you were to break a part, you just send it to them, and they will exchange it for a new one. Uh, so, RPM is pretty good. I just actually bought a set of RPM caster blocks last, uh, no, two weeks ago when I got the new Animus 18TR Truggy. And so, I wanted to get some good A-arms, or uh, caster blocks. And if this does prove to work, maybe I'll try this uh, on my broken um, skid plate that I had. So, I think there is quite a bit on there. I think there's enough for it to hold. You can see I put quite a bit on there. And just moving it with my finger, it's not, you know, bending or flexing at all. Um, you know, I didn't use it correctly last time, but this time I think I did, and I think that this product works. I think it actually worked this time. It is still fine. Yeah, I'd say try it if you guys need to. Um, I would say try this product out. I believe it's only $20. I got it at my uh, local hobby store, uh, actually my Hobby Town USA. They supplied it there. And uh, I got it there. Um, I think it was 20 bucks for that and then $10 or $12 for the refill glue, which it does come with one refill bottle. But uh, that's, you know not cracking, not breaking at all. I would just say let let it sit for a little bit and also make sure that you shine enough light on it so that way it dries all the way through. Um, but yeah, complete opposite answer than what I said last time, but actually this time, thumbs up to Bondic. Um, and I will have another piece here that I can use. So, thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what you guys uh, think about the new intro. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I uh, hope to see you all next time on the RC Genius.